Hi, my name is Annika. My name is Helena Iller. My name is Safia. My name is Anaya Kota. My name is Jesse. My name is Zoe. I'm Olivia Meyer. My name is Samika Karamuri. My name is Laura Kotak. Hi, my name is Lavina. I've been involved with Husky Robotics and FIRST for one year. For five years. Uh, this is going to be my seventh year in FIRST. Seven years. For eight years now. For eight years. For nine years now. For nine years now. I've been doing FIRST for ten years. For ten years. Sit With Me is a campaign held by the National Center for Women and Information Technology to recognize and celebrate women's contributions to the STEAM field. Sometimes you need to sit down to stand up, and Sit With Me provides women an opportunity to speak their truth with no interruptions. Every year, Husky Robotics interviews a handful of their current members and alumni to share their thoughts and experiences. Here's what they had to say this year. My sister participated in FLL, so I really saw her go through the process and learn so much about herself and about technical things, things like that. So I knew that I wanted to be involved in STEAM from a very young age, and from that point on, I just tried to get involved in as many activities related to the field as possible. So in ninth grade, I took a woodworking class, and my teacher of that class was also the robotics coach, and he told me, you know, I think you would like this robotic stuff. So I tried it, and I loved it. Robotics is how I discovered that I wanted to be an engineer. To be honest, I was a little worried about joining STEAM and Husky Robotics because I didn't have any past experiences, but I had a few friends who were involved with it and they really encouraged me to explore the various opportunities that it provides. I realized that there's so much more you can gain and take away from Husky Robotics, STEAM and FIRST than simply learning how to build a robot. I'm an obstacle not only I have experienced, but I'm pretty sure any female in STEAM has, is having to talk 10 times louder just to get your voice heard. Um, often when I present a solution or an idea, men often disregard it, but when another male in the room says the same thing, they praise it and actually take it into account. So sometimes I just have to speak up and hold others accountable for when that happens. I'd say the two biggest things were like imposter syndrome a lot of the time and feeling like I wasn't good enough to be in whatever space I'm in and then also just getting like my own voice etc um, as a woman in STEM but or STEAM but because of that I think Husky Robotics is really good with putting women in leadership positions and teaching them how to really you know have a community and speak out what they think so that's how I got over that as well. I gained some confidence from FLL and I feel like this will help me a lot later in life because I won't be afraid to face a new challenge. Outside of robotics, I am in a lot of male dominated clubs and robotics has helped me become a leader and step into that role in these clubs as well. Especially in some of my classes where there's mostly male peers, I no longer feel judged and I feel like they respect me enough to listen to what I have to say. This is going to help me in the future because the workplace is both is heavily male dominated in the STEAM field and it's important for me to learn these social skills now so I can excel in it later. So going through my years of high school in Husky Robotics, I really learned to find my voice and make myself feel heard. Coming in as a freshman, I was really afraid and intimidated of those around me. I wasn't always sure that what I had to say would be valued, but through my time in Husky Robotics, I gained confidence in what I had to say and learned to say it with pride. So when I joined my freshman year, a lot of the leads on our team were actually female, so that helped me a lot and it helped me feel more included and it showed me that uh, anybody can get into a leadership position and be as involved as they wanted to be. So that motivated me a lot and I kept getting involved and it got me to where I am today. As a female in STEM, I felt a little bit surprised. Some of my questions would go unanswered, some of them would go ignored, but I think um, being a part of Husky Robotics has been a very moving experience. My voice was heard. People listened to me. People cared to answer my questions. Um, people cared to hear my thoughts as well. I think Husky Robotics does a great job of helping people sit down to stand up for what they believe in and listen to all the voices at the table, which I think is a very, very powerful aspect of the team. Don't be afraid to try new things and push yourself. 
Um, as someone who was trying something new, for me it was robotics. It was very easy to doubt myself and my abilities, especially when I would take risks and because I was a girl. But there are so many opportunities that you have and you can gain so much from taking them. Don't feel like you have something to prove or live up to or that you're not capable of doing something. Um, I would say don't feel intimidated. A lot of times when I was um, just starting off in STEAM, I felt intimidated, but I, felt, I feel like most of that was just me being inside my own head. And I would say just don't be afraid to share what you have to share because a lot of the intimidation that usually comes from being a woman in STEAM can just come from your own, from inside your own head. So just don't be afraid and share what you have to share. Hold, be brave, be curious, reach out to people, ask your questions. Even if they go unheard the first couple of times, keep asking them. You're gonna find someone who wants to help you grow, who wants to make you the incredible person that you're gonna be. So just go for it, shoot your shot, and you're gonna do amazing.